Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA video, we're going to be talking about a handful of interesting Grand Theft Auto 6 news, like the leaks starting to get banned once again. The announcement isn't going to be happening at this venue and at this event and a whole lot more. So let's start with the fact that the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks are starting to get more and more places banned. We actually talked about this the other day and how places like Reddit and places like social media that Rockstar was revamping their ban wave on the GTA 6 leaks. And we talked about what this could mean. Either people were just getting a little bit sloppy and were saying, well, Rockstar doesn't care at this point. We also talked about how it could have been how how Rockstar is planning to make some sort of official announcement and they wanted to wipe away any sort of leaks. Well, I guess now since it's been officially banned, there was another Grand Theft Auto 6 subreddit. It was called GTA 6, like the number, and then the letters S-I-X spelled out. And this is a subreddit that basically just ignored Take-Two Interactive and Rockstar. And all they did ever since the leaks was just post screenshots and videos. They also did things like map concepts and comparisons of buildings in game versus real life. It was really cool stuff, but Rockstar didn't want that to be out there. And some people said, well, you should have gone private. Other people said that it was inevitable that this one was going to get banned. And that's what happens when you receive enough copyright strikes really on any platform. Take-Two Interactive has the ability to do that. And I really do think that this is either Rockstar getting really close to announcing something or there's a process of finishing everything up and getting ready to because something like this is gonna be happening. So sadly, this was bound to happen and I'll keep you guys posted if any other sites or any other areas of the social media world end up getting really the same fate, but I think hopefully this means Rockstar is close to an official announcement. We'll definitely be sure to keep you guys posted. Now, speaking of the Grand Theft Auto 6 announcement, we can now officially say it is not going to happen at this event. And this is a shame because not only is this an event that I have been to several times, but it's also an event that Rockstar has been to several times and actually made some major announcements. And that is E3, the Electronic Entertainment Expo. They actually announced earlier this week that it is not going to be happening, unfortunately. They put out this announcement, show organizer Reed Pop announces E3 2023 will not take place as scheduled this June with both physical and digital events canceled alongside the alongside the Entertainment Software Association or ESA both parties will reevaluate the future of E3 so again E3 has been canceled it is probably and arguably the biggest gaming event that we have in the world and so because of that we know Rockstar, it's not gonna be making an announcement there. And like I mentioned earlier, Rockstar has used E3 in the past to make some pretty major announcements, whether it be Grand Theft Auto 4 at Microsoft's press conference. So what I'd like to show you is my new edition. Microsoft and Rockstar Games are bringing Grand Theft Auto 4, the next generation of the wildly successful Grand Theft Auto series, to Xbox 360 on October the 16th, 2007 in North America and October the 19th, 2007 in Europe. The first date it's available. Or whether it be Grand Theft Auto 5 coming to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One at Sony's press conference. Both of those happened at E3. I'm thrilled to announce that Grand Theft Auto V is coming to PlayStation 4 this fall. Grand Theft Auto V takes full advantage of the power of PS4 and features a host of enhancements and new details for players to discover. Plus, the current community of PS3 players and Xbox 360 players will have the ability to transfer their GTA online progress and characters to the PlayStation 4. 
So unfortunately, it's not going to be happening there. I think there was a slim chance considering the last two titles that Rockstar have released, Grand Theft Auto V and Red Dead Redemption 2. The initial announcement and reveal has simply happened on Rockstar's own website and on their own social media platform. So I, I wouldn't imagine that the initial reveal would happen, but we know for certain now that it's definitely not going to be happening at E3. Now, last but not least in this video today, we actually have a musician, well, I should say a rapper. They actually have a new Grand Theft Auto 6 song that is sparking new announcement speculation. So GTA 6's reveal speculation is growing again after a Florida rapper released a new song that fans think could be featured in the game. So Miami-based rapper Space Ghost Perp with two R's, I feel weird even saying that, has added fuel to the inferno of hype for Grand Theft Auto 6 and its eluding fans by releasing a new song literally titled Grand Theft Auto 6. So early in March, so earlier in March, Space Ghost Perp uploaded a song to their SoundCloud titled Grand Theft Auto 6, and now the community has begun to wonder if this could be a sign. So as noted earlier, a lot of people pointed out that he is from Florida, and we know that Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be taking place in Vice City, which we know is fictional Miami, so there's a chance the two could be connected. So it's probably something... Most likely nothing, but it would be cool if Rockstar did feature local musicians, rappers, artists, etc. from the Florida and Miami area. That would be pretty neat. Now, I can't imagine that Rockstar Games is too happy with this, having the very, very likely next name of the Grand Theft Auto series be just a random song that someone's using. So hopefully that person doesn't have to change the name of the song or they don't have to get into some sort of legal back and forth with Rockstar, their parent company, Take-Two Interactive. I think this is starting to gather a bit more attention because as we noted last month, 50 Cent actually sparked his own GTA 6 speculation after a series of deleted Instagram posts featuring Vice City. And as it turns out, those posts were to actually tease his Paramount Plus show called Vice City. So with this, it's important to keep our expectations in check. It might be completely unrelated to Grand Theft Auto and Vice City as a whole, but it's something to certainly think about. But anyways, that is all the information that I have got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think about everything we talked about in this video today, like Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks continuing to get banned, E3 being canceled, and do you think the GTA 6 song is connected to Rockstar in any way, shape, or form? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.